yes hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and i still remain your shoe making made easy tutor odu role mojibola and today i am going to be teaching us how i created this beautiful mystery bow sander slide and um, if you're watching this channel for the first time i need you to ensure that you click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and a notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified and also make sure you like this video because i know you are going to enjoy every bit of it so go ahead right away right away right away and like this video you can see what my soul look like and what the upper as well look like this is simply simple and beautiful sit back and i'm gonna be right back so for our mystery bulb slide we are actually going to be making use of this particular leather now i need you to see what we are going to be doing and uh, the measurement we are going to be using is we are going to be using about 12 inches 12 inches long strap 12 inches if you want to work in centimeter you can decide to fold and come this way it's about 30.5 centimeter for the length of each of the strap that we are going to be using for our mystery bow sander slide now we are going to be making use of a width of 1.75 inch 1.75 which is going to be here that's 1.75 and in centimeter is about 4.5 centimeters so that's the major measurement we are going to be using and i have tried to do that here now i need you to understand that we're going to be using four different straps now we have um two on each side and we are going to be lining it now if you have a double-sided leather where you have this side and this side to be the same thing then you can use that kind of a leather as well but if you are using a leather that is not double-sided i mean the two sides are not right side it's better for you to actually use the same leather you want to use as your main leather to also line it except you want to have a color variation probably you don't mind having a different color by the time you, you begin to add actually create the upper for this particular mystery bow sander slice so i'm just going to go ahead and apply my contact cement adhesive i've already drew it out this is 4.5 by by 30.5 I, I I have all this to be 61 you understand so by the time I divide it for each leg it will definitely be quite you know perfect for the measurements I need so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my contact cement adhesive on all of them now these two is the major strap that we need why this is going to serve as a lining I'm not cutting it out because I want a very neat job by the time I apply now when it's dry I will just trim it off and place it on this then trim it finally out I don't don't want to trim my strap out because i find that if you trim it out if you are not careful when applying the contact at, at the cement adhesive this other side will be having you know stains of the you know of the of the adhesive so and i don't want that so let's go let's go ahead and do that i want it to be quite fast so i am going to try to pour this way of course and i will try to make it as fast as possible I'm just going to place it i've cut the straps out i didn't cut the second part out because i'm going to place it on it then trim the two out because i want a very neat finishing so now that i've placed it here i'm just going to go ahead and trim them all out now as i trim out i'm going to try to you know get a suitable touch of edge coat whatever whichever color i'm going to go ahead and actually use it of course my leather has different colors so i can decide to pick any of them and use as my 
edge coat. I have always told us about edge coat. Please, I need you to go and um, get the course on how to create this edge coat. I think it's just about $3, $3 or so. So please get it, create it yourself. You can create different colors and make your work look neatly finished. That is the essence of this particular course. I have a course on it. I think it should just be about 45 minutes course that you just have to just check it out and then, um, you know, go for the course is a good one for you to have a good finishing so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this i'm gonna cut this out and then we are gonna continue so you can see now i've already cut it out i decide to actually coat this particular side you can see i already coated it so that's what your head coat does for you now i'm going to go ahead and then um, pick it up you see that i didn't coat the other side i don't need that side nobody will actually see it so i'm not going to be coating that particular side so the next thing to do is to fold it this way you can see what i just did fold this way and try to bring this side together now trying to bring this side together you can decide to apply your contact adhesive on this side to hold the two of them together or you use this shoe glue this shoe glue just try to place it by the side this way while you hold this together while you try to hold it together like this so hold it for a while and you find out that it will stick to it just right there. It will stick just right there. So you continue that until you get to a, probably this point. So I'm going to continue to add the glue until I get to that point. So now you can see I've already done that and we have it already coming out the, exactly the way we want it. So now that we have this, you can see that it's looking like our style already. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be connecting it together with this particular strap. Now, I just measured 2.4 centimeter wide. That's about one inch wide. And I folded them together like this. You can see what I did. I applied my contact cement adhesive and I just fold it together this way so you can see what I have. I've already done that. So I'm just going to insert it in between the two of them so it will serve as a connector for my mystery bow sander slide. So connecting this, of course, I'll make sure that I have enough. So you can see I'm connecting that already. We still have some little space right here. So you can see it's serving as a connector between the two of them. That is one. Now, secondly, don't forget we have something that is literally covering this up at the center. But before that, I would love to hold this down. I love to hold this down. So I'm still going to use my glue again to try to hold this down up here. I just want to hold the strap down to that place so that it doesn't move unnecessarily. So you understand, it's already sticking down there. I'm going to do the same thing for this as well. So I'm going to put a little here and use it to hold it right again here. So you can see that we are having, um, you know, there's already a, a formation at that particular point something is already being formed at that point so the next thing is for me to go ahead with this particular one i'm going to be covering this up this way so by the time i cover it up i'm going to before i cover it rather i'm going to be placing this particular accessory there you can see the accessory i'm going to be inserting there i think many a times you see this with those selling bag making accessory so I'm taking my time to show so that you can be able to probably screenshot to show where, show whoever you are buying from or to Google search with this particular picture. So you can actually get this. And if you can get a rivet that is this big, a rivet definitely probably something like this. I have some of them that are rivet. This is actually the smaller one. It came this way. It's a set of rivet. It comes like this. So that's what I'll be using for the smaller side size so you can also ask from those who sell bag making materials and also some shoe making materials majorly shoe making accessory materials also have this so i'm going to place that right at the center here ensuring that okay 
I am placing it at the right location right here. So I'm going to position it this way. I hope you get so. Let me try to know where that is. I think I can see it. I can see this. My seam ripper at work again. You can use your utility knife. Now I have another one here. Now I have already fixed that. You can see what I did here. I fixed it. So this is going to be going in this way. I'm going to try to fix it. Now, for this particular strap, I know somebody is already asking. You are not telling us anything about this. Now, this strap is actually two inches. I measured two inches wide and I folded it as usual, like I folded this particular one. This was 2.4 centimeter, which is about one inch. Why this is two inches. So when I folded it, it became one inch wide. So that is what I have here. So... I'm going to go ahead. You can see what this place looks like. You can see what it looks like. So I'm going to be having it this way. So now I'm sure you are wondering, okay, what do we do to the back? What how do we cover it up? I'm going to actually punch this particular side. I'm going to use my small rivet. To actually fix that particular, I'm going to use it to hold it down. Now I'm going to still use my my seam ripper again just to know where to position my punch. So this is very important. So I think I already know now. I'm just going to pick up my punch plier and punch those side right away. You can see what I have now. So this is going this way and this is going this way so i'm going to try to since this is going this way i'm going to pull this right here this right here so and then it will definitely come out on this particular side so that it doesn't come out excessively you can see that it's well positioned your glue We'll do some other work here just to keep this one flat down. You can see that. You can see what we have right now. So I think we are almost through now with our mystery bow slide. You can see what it looks like. So at this point, I am just going to hold everything down again with my glue. I just want it to be held down properly. So to do that, I'm going to apply some of my, apply it again on the belt, on the inner part of the belt, of the strap, I mean, and then hold it right away so that you can have this here and have this down here. So you can see what it looks like at the center now. So I can still do that here. You can see, so see what it looks like right here. So, after that, we can just try to hold. Now, it's not compulsory that you should use your glue to hold this particular part together. You can decide to actually create like a, a, small, a small strap at the back here where it will enable you to be able to stitch just this side down. You just stitch this way down. If you don't want to use the super glue, yes, you just stitch this way down. You, but of course, you have to put a particular strap of leather at the back here so that that will help you to hold the two together. Then you just stitch down like that. Or you can use this kind of shoe glue to hold it together. Then you stitch it just to make it stay together. If you don't want it to stay together as well, it's not compulsory. It can actually be separate. It will help you to also last it. So it depends on really what you want and how you want it to look like. So... I'm just going to try to position this down just to cover all of this. So, so when somebody sees this, they'll just be wondering, okay, there's no strap there. So how did they make it? And this not knowing there's actually something at the back right here. <laughs> 
so you can see what i have i'm going to still do the same thing right here so let's lay it right flat there just to cover it up this now you can see how i created my miserable slide command this is a beautiful you can see what it looks like now if you're watching my channel for the first time i want to believe by now you should have liked this video and if you haven't please go and like this video go and like this video and if you have not subscribed also i need you to go press the red button that has subscribe right away and also the bell that just pop up immediately you subscribe just for you to be notified each time i upload a video now for this particular point uh, we are going to also attach the remaining accessory so i'm going to be attaching just one extra if you want it to be two you can decide to make sure it's two but i think for me having three on it is just fine having three on it is just fine so you can see what i have here i'm going to do the same thing on this side too So, you can see what I have now. Come on. Isn't this beautiful? This is so beautiful. So, the next thing is just to go ahead and last your mystery bow slide. I want to believe that lasting it shouldn't be a problem to anyone. And if you don't know how to go about this lasting, then it means you are new on this channel. So, go right away and do some catch up so that you understand how to go about lasting this. If you have enjoyed today's tutorial, I want you to go ahead and like this particular video, making other people also to be able to see it and get value from it. Yes, I still remember remain your shoe make it made easy to talk and if you are considering mentorship you are considering joining any of my classes i have a beginner's class that teaches on sanders on palms for men women and children i also have classes for heal i have a course on how to create women heels and presently we are having a, a, a class on how to create mool shoe that is generally called half shoe so if you would like to participate in any of them just let me know in the comment section and i will guide you on how to assess those classes and those courses Please note that they are paid classes and not free classes. All my free classes happens here on YouTube. Thank you once again and I still remain your shoe making it easy to tell. Oduro Mujibola. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye.